Hey guys, I'm Sebastian. I'm Christine. This is Ninth Island Connection, your weekly lifestyle resource for all things Vegas. If this is your first time on our channel, go ahead and subscribe right now. Obviously, you're interested in Vegas, and that's all we do here. Food, hotel reviews, room tours, what we're doing here with Caesars, that's all we do. You will not be disappointed. So as you can see, we are here at Caesars Palace, one of our absolute favorite properties on the Las Vegas Strip. And we spend a lot of time here. We stay here a lot. We come gamble here. We come eat here a lot. And in this video, we are actually going to bring to you guys what is new here at Caesars. Yeah, there's quite a few like subtle changes, like where we are right now in a brand new tower. All right, so let's get going and check out what's new at Caesars. All right, let's start with the valet lobby area. This was one of the most recent large renovation projects for Caesars Palace. If you remember, they had this whole area outside under construction, and they also had the inside lobby area under construction. Now this has been completed for quite a while now, and it looks great. One big change here is that this is no longer the ride share area. The new ride share area is actually located in the self parking area. Now moving inside, the new lobby area looks amazing. It's so much brighter and newer. They also added some table games in there and a bar. So if you haven't been to Caesars Palace for a, a couple years, this is gonna be all new to you. Let's head on over to the registration area. And no, the real Caesar did not live here, Alan. This is actually one of the nicest registration lobbies on the Strip and definitely worth the visit even if you're not staying here, especially over the holidays. Now, if you're looking for the diamond or seven stars registration, that's gonna be over by the VIP valet and they are no longer combined. This is gonna be right by the new Starbucks. They do check for room keys to access the Octavius, Augustus and Palace Towers. The latest room renovation is the Coliseum Tower, which used to be the Forum Tower. This is located right off of the casino floor closest to self-parking and rideshare next to the newer Dominique Anzo place. They remodeled the elevator area along with the hallways and of course, the rooms. However, there's the same old rickety elevators that are still there. All of the rooms were renovated and they look great. Check out the room tour link in our description for more information. Also check out the link on all the towers for more information on the various towers at Caesars. Now Caesars has had some ongoing quick touch-ups throughout the property all year long. One that we noticed was near the Coliseum area, which entailed these big curtains and moving the ATMs.
we took a peek behind the curtain and it looked like they were just touching up the floor and doing some touch-ups on the wall. They're probably done by now, but you never know. As far as the rest of the casino goes, it's pretty much the same. Of course, just like all of the other properties, you're gonna find new machines, some of the slots have been moved around, and some are gone for good. This again is pretty typical throughout all of Caesar's properties. The area by Stanton's social entrance definitely has less machines than it used to. The sports book is the same, although we have noticed that at busy times, they add in some additional bleacher seating between the sports book bar and Omnia. On slower days, you're gonna notice that the center area or the pit is the only area that's gonna have table games open. Now Caesars has such a huge casino that there are probably so many things that we didn't even notice. So let us know if we missed anything. One thing we did see is that the final Buffalo Grand is gone. They used to have two whole walls of this. This was our favorite game to play here, so please share some suggestions on what you think we should try. Of course, we're gonna notice the changes with our favorite slot machines. So let us know if yours are gone or what your favorites are and where we can find them. Even though they're making changes with the machines, one thing that's always positive is that there are still so many options. Okay, and last but not least, let's get into the food and beverage options here at Caesars Palace. Don't worry, all of your favorite bars are still here. There's Vista, Numb, Monte Cristo Cigar Bar, Alto, which may have had a facelift, I can't remember, and the popular club Omnia. Cleopatra's Lounge has been closed and it looks like it will be reopening as Caspian's. This is where Wayne Newton, Mr. Las Vegas himself, performed before taking a show across the street to Flamingo. This was also a popular photo op area. If you know, you know.
The lobby bar is open and this was actually renovated during the lobby renovations as well. Now let's get to the dining. Caesars has a ton of restaurants, and that's not even including the ones inside of the forum shops. The majority of the restaurants are conveniently located off of the casino floor. There's the popular Gordon Ramsay Pub, which again is located off the casino floor between the newly renovated Coliseum Tower and the food hall. One of the newer spots that has been here for a little over a year is Dominique Anzel's, which is more of a for breakfast sandwiches and pastries, and of course what he's known for, cronuts. This is located right next to the Coliseum Tower. Nobu is still there, and so is Americano right off of the registration lobby. And fun fact, both of these restaurants are also at Paris. So if you don't feel like going to the ones at Caesars Palace, you can go to the ones at Paris. Brioche is back in its original location. This was moved during their big renovation, um, but is back in its little corner spot right off of the valet lobby. Stan Social is a newer restaurant at Caesars and this replaced Seersucker. This is located near Omnia and the Sportsbook area off of the Las Vegas Boulevard entrance closest to the Coliseum. Bobby Flay's Amalfi is still open, although when we were here, it looked like some quick renovations were happening. Now we're not 100% what they were doing for this little renovation and it looks like one of those quick minor little touch-ups that they seem to do a lot at Caesars Palace. Now one of our absolute favorites at Caesars Palace is Beijing Noodle 9 and it's still here and it's still busy. Now this is a great spot to use your dining and rewards credits for Caesars Rewards because they do accept reward credits on a one-to-one -one ratio. Plus, the food here is amazing. We recommend getting the soup dumplings and the crispy pork belly. This is located near the very popular Bacchanal Buffet. This is one of the best buffets in Las Vegas on the Strip and it seems to always be busy. We recently noticed that they had moved the Diamond and Seven Stars separate entrance. Now the newest restaurant across from Bacchanal is Peter Luger Steakhouse. This replaced Rouse and it looks really nice. Across from Peter Luger and Bacchanal is Giada's Pronto, which has been there for years. 
it's not one of our favorite places to eat, but it seems to pretty much stay busy. And the bar in between Pronto and Bacchanal is open. There also are essential shops located throughout the property, but their hours are kind of random. The one in the lobby is 24-7. Mr. Chow is still open. This is usually only in the evenings. And at Caesars Palace, they also have a newer boozy ice cream place. Now let's head back over to the Forum Food Hall. Of course, we have to pass one of my favorite photo op places in Caesars Palace. So like many of the Caesars properties, this used to be a food court and then it was renovated years ago becoming a food hall. Even though several of the same restaurants remain like the Starbucks, the pizza place Defara and the Halal Guys, Tiger Walk and Ramen place is still there, but it hasn't been open for quite some time. I think like over a year. The Starbucks over here had a nice little renovation. For the old school Caesars folks, there's no longer an Earl of Sandwich or Smashburger in here and Caesars Palace Food Hall. Smashburger was replaced by Bobby's Burger, which is Bobby Flay's overpriced burgers and the Earl of Sandwich was replaced by an expansion of the pizza place. Now the newest restaurant inside of the food hall is Guy Fieri's Chicken Guy. We decided to try it and like most of the Guy Fieri restaurants in Vegas, it was kind of overpriced and nothing spectacular. So Chicken Guy is known for its variety of different sauces and you can either get chicken tenders there or chicken sandwiches, which we found out were just chicken tenders on a bun. That's a chicken tender. And the last part of the food hall is the stadium bar, which this was also remodeled back a couple years ago when the food hall was remodeled. And across the way is Vanderpump. Again, there is one at Paris as well, and one on the way at Flamingo of all places. So there'll soon be three Vanderpumps in Las Vegas. And lastly, there's allegedly Guy Savoy upstairs. We've never been to it. We've never even been up these stairs. Maybe next time we're there, we'll have to explore it. And there's also the newly remodeled Starbucks near the Seven Stars check-in area by Octavius and Augustus. And outside, there's of course, the super popular Gordon Ramsay's Hell's Kitchen. And this is a place that if you want to go there, you need to make your reservations in advance because they are always busy. All right, guys, there you have it. That's what's new here at Caesars. And I guess what's still the same here. <laughs> and as always, guys, we want to hear from you. So comment below. Have you been here since all of these new things have happened here at Caesars? What are your thoughts? Comment below. 
And be sure to check us out on social media. We're on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Snapchat, everything, Twitter. We're, yeah, we're threading. <laughs> yeah, we're if everywhere. You guys are threading too. I mean, just hit us up. Yeah, so check us out. We do a lot of updates about what's going on in Vegas there as well. So if you're interested in Vegas, go ahead and follow our social media. Also, check out the description below so that you can see how you can watch our television show wherever you are. That's right. We have a television show that airs throughout the United States and overseas. And also while we're talking about what is below, make sure you check out the links that we're gonna drop in there about Caesar's Palace. We have a whole playlist de dedicated completely to Caesar's Palace. So go ahead and check that out if you're interested in more Caesars. And don't forget, subscribe, like, and thank you guys so much. We appreciate your support. Thanks guys. four hours a day, seven days a week in a city that never sleeps, Ninth Island Connection will take you there. You won't want to miss a beat as we give you a sneak peek inside the biggest, best, and most outrageous hotspots both on and off the strip. Be sure to tune in to Ninth Island Connection with Sebastian Rodriguez every week. Great people, great stories, great connections, only on Ninth Island Connection.